Hello and welcome to the madness that is the July 27th River City Speedway Tuner main event. We are starting it off here with the 24 of Jason Scheibel as he's looking to the outside of Bad Bob Burke. Bob Burke going to shut the door coming down the back stretch. Three, three, and four looking for a little bit of a diamond. Nothing right there for the 24. Moving over to the 4X of Austin Bodwin. Uh, currently got a train of three Nissans leading the field. The 51 of Chico Brinster, the 12 of Dan McDonald, and of course the 4X of Austin Bodwin. All three have been a force to be reckoned with so far with the tuners. Bob Berg, a couple of victories to his credit, I believe. And uh, the 24, this car has won quite a few races, but uh, recently just purchased by Scheibel. Uh, wins include Jeremy Hughes and TJ Wagner in this car over the years. Kind of just trying to take that low line, see if he can't get by Bob Berg. Not able to get a good exit to the corner, so Bob Berg gets a nice run, gets right to the back bumper of that 4X. Right now, you've got to try and make as much moves as you can early on in the race so that you can have time to try and catch that 51 of Brinster, who's already out with pretty much half a straightaway. And the last thing you want to do is get stuck behind someone and watch those leaders just put down a uh, insurmountable gap. A lot of these guys out in front would not uh, be able to be challenged after a couple laps. Scheibel, and looking a little bit higher than Bob, making a late apex. He's able to, he's closing back up to him. But it seems like he's losing a tiny bit of speed out of the corner to Bob. But Bob is catching up to the 4X. So it's going to be a heck of a battle here momentarily as they get closer and closer with each passing lap. And they're also reeling in Dan McDonald, it seems, while Chico Brinster basically has a full two-turn gap to second place. Once more trying that late apex. This time Bob Berg had to check up through the center of two. And we can see now the 4X looking to the inside of the 12. Two centers going at it. See McDonald getting a good run using the outside. Uh, the 4X is closing up through the entry. Just got to try and get beside them, let them know you're there. And Maybe just letting someone know that you're there is enough to get them to mess up their line and get in their own head. It's happened a couple times that I've seen. He again, looking, oh, I think uh, McDonald came down. Maybe just tried to shut the door a little bit and say, hey, I'm not letting you by this easy. And run to the top, a little bit of a, a little bit of a diamond on the corner, trying to make that straightaway a little bit longer. Enter the next corner with just a little bit more speed. This track has a lot of grip, but there is a couple of spots with character and you need to make sure that you are not hopping up in the air more than you're putting power to the ground. Scheibel again looking to the outside of the zero car. See, this whole train has gotten really close. No one able to make a pass just yet. The track is really fast at the moment, so trying to make anything happen on an off lane is really a challenge. It's just a matter of who can get the power down, who can keep the car in the smooth part of the track. And it seems that we still have, there's a couple smooth lines as you can see the cars spreading out and not really getting away from each other. Again, Scheibel looking to the outside, trying to make something happen on Berg. All this while, Austin is now looking to the inside of Dan McDonald. We've got two battles, one for second and the other for fourth. Now coming up towards lap traffic here pretty soon. And that can be a huge, huge tool when trying to get a pass done. See, Scheibel was not able to get past Berg, but it looks like Bodwin is going to get McDonald. I think he got clear there. If not there, I think he'll clear him through three and four. Yeah, there we go. He is clear. Now Scheibel, who is faster than Bodwin for a little bit, it looked like, now stuck behind Berg. He's got to try and get that pass done so that he can go hunt down those podium positions. Chico Brinster is long gone. He probably won't have any competition unless there is a caution. Scheibel just all over the back of Bob Berg. Oh, and getting to the inside, you can see actually Bob Berg's uh, left front brake rotor was glowing red, so the brakes are probably going away. It makes it a lot harder to push the car. See, Scheibel with a handful of wheel as the car got a little bit upset coming out of two. 
finally dropped that zero car. Now just hoping that he can track down those two Nissan Sentras of Austin Bowman and Dan McDonald. See, in 01 and 77 of Christopher and Casey Lee, respectively. Um, not having a great showing tonight, but still keeping the cars clean. That's the most important part when you bring it to the racetrack. Casey's still pretty new to the tuners, trying to get his uh, head wrapped around that uh, focus. He spent a lot of his time in a Neon, now upgrading to a nice AMC car. So he'll be put a lap, he's already put a lap down by Chico Brinster. Now Austin, trying to make a move. As this is happening, uh, Dan McDonald just kind of licking his chops, hoping that Austin gets a bit hung up, which he has been. That every lap you cannot get by Casey Lee is another lap that Dan just gets closer and closer. Looks like Austin will get to the inside. To Casey Lee, you can see Austin go by and that 12 go by. So McDonald all over the back. You see the left rear tire lifting up. There's a lot of track right now on the track. A little bit of rough, a little bit of character. Now Scheibel looking to the inside of Casey Lee. Casey still has his race he's trying to run. Wants to make sure that he has as good of a chance to beat his father as possible. But it looks like he's lost a little bit of ground. He could potentially try and latch on to the back of these leaders, but probably a little bit too late in the race now. See Austin now looking towards the inside of Jacob Hilsinger. Uh, got a win at Sunset Speedway last week, I believe. So he's been having a good time, although struggling with some uh, power delivery issues this weekend. Just some gremlins that really seem to show up, especially when you're making these street cars do things that they were not designed to do. Although Chico, I mean, looks like a dirt car to me. I haven't really seen him struggle a bit today. He is long out of the picture. There's no caution to take an easy road home. Someone who didn't take an easy road would be that 4X of Austin Bowen. Having to battle uh, uh, McDonald and then just make sure he keeps the pedal down so he doesn't lose out to Scheibel or Berg. You can see Berg now falling back about half a track now that he had those issues with the uh, brakes. But this is the white flag. You're going to see Dan McDonald trying to make a last ditch effort to pass that 4X of Austin Bowen. Stuck behind Christopher Lee, but it is not going to matter. Chico Brents are going to take the win with Austin Bowen second, Dan McDonald third, Jason Scheibel finishing fourth. Got to thank the sponsors for this video, Tom Egan Photo and Dr. Otto. Without their help, these videos would not look near as pretty, nor would they be possible in the first place. Also got to thank anyone who stopped by to watch, and I hope to see you all in the midst of the madness again.